Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Three car mix, twins are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. Twenty-three eating French fries. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer. This figure is not out in the U.S. at the moment. It has been popping up in Mexico, and I have to give a big thanks to Claudia, Luis, Tanya, and Ivan for sending this my way. Thank you guys so much, and you guys sent a wonderful letter right over here, which I'm going to read first thing in the next PO Box pickup video. Thank you so much. Ustedes son la familia. Bella de todo Mexico. Muchas gracias a ustedes. And on the side right here, we get a beautiful picture of Silver Surfer. Sorry, my Spanish is bad. Anyway, on the back, you can see a nice image of the Silver Surfer figure. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, pause it now. And then on this side, you can see Silver Surfer again. And then we get Silver Surfer spot varnished on the very top right over there. And not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Silver Surfer out of the packaging. And I have really been enjoying this figure. Figure. It has sent me into the action figure abyss. That's basically me just getting lost in time, taking photos of a particular figure just over and over again. I mean, different poses and stuff like that. And this guy does have really good articulation. Of course, we've seen this body mold before. He does come with accessories, which I like a lot. So let's get a closer look at those. And then we'll get a closer look at Silver Surfer. And here's the surfboard that comes with this Silver Surfer figure. And this is technically not a surfboard, but this is his spacecraft that coincidentally kind of looks like a surfboard because Norn Rad aka Silver Surfer is not from Earth. He's a humanoid from a different planet. But anyway, I do like the design of it. I think it looks pretty good. I like the silver paint, but I have a lot of complaints about this. This is actually my biggest problem with the figure. Uh, first off, the port. Uh, it's all the way on the back of the board. I don't know, just from images I've looked at, this tends to look like the front of the board. Even on the back of the packaging, they made it look like this is the front of the board. So the peg being in the very back over here just makes it a little bit trickier for him to get posed, especially because Silver Surfer has a tendency to like stand towards the front of his board sometimes like you saw me do earlier and yeah so I don't like that we only get one peg all the way towards the back I would have liked having one over here like comparing it to the uh, the Marvel Select board you know that you can see that this one has two so I liked that a little bit of scuffage right there and there's your silver paint comparison they're very similar and comparing it to the series 5 Marvel Legends Silver Surfer from Toy Biz this actually has a magnetized piece right here in the center and that figure had magnetized feet so that was I guess the best option as far as you know different display possibilities the other thing about this one is that I have it unplugged right now but there's this whole clip that would you know port into this and then it would attach to a a stemmed articulated arm that would plug into a space rock and you're able to pose your figure on top of that and that was really cool this guy we have no suspension options at all whatsoever and that is extremely frustrating so the only thing you could really do is just put it on the ground or suspend the figure from the air but the fact that we only have one port over here means that if you have him hanging by his torso or something like that one foot is going to be detached from the board or it could be just very tricky to get both feet flat onto the board so that's yeah that, that's very frustrating so um, what I done was I you know, yeah this is sacrilege but I used the Marvel Select Silver Surfer base and ported it in there it works just fine and yeah so that's how I posed the figure you know for most of the photos that I had taken with it is just using this base right over here and if you wanted to use the Marvel Select board and you wanted to use this uh, Marvel Legend figure he will port into this board so if you wanted to swap the boards completely you can do that if you'd like. And as far as the rest of the accessories, we get three pairs of interchangeable hands and then two effects pieces, which are the same effects pieces that we've seen several times before in the past, but this time we get little sparkles in there. Look at that. That's cool. So this is for his power cosmic and it looks great. I, I like these effects, you know, very Kirby-esque, you know, Silver Surfer is a Jack Kirby creation. So I love that we have these Kirby type effects right here with the Silver Surfer. These are awesome. I mean, to compare to another one. This is one that came with the shocker, so you can see. Now, in the packaging, it shows, or it arrives, you know, with this uh, facing inward like that, and it's around his wrist, and you can see that, I don't know, it's kind of loose around the wrist. It just kind of spins like that, and I don't like, you know, having it face inward. I'd rather have it facing the other direction. Uh, but anyway, uh, we get the fisted hands, nice silver paint, 
and then we get the wide open hands. We've seen all these hands before. And then we get these flat hands. All fantastic for him projecting the power cosmic or surfing through space. I really like all of these interchangeable hands. And to just give a little tip on, you know, how I like to pose the power cosmic effects on the figure, you know, like for a fist, I'll try to like, you know, just get that right through the center like so. That tends to work out okay. There's enough little, uh, little holes and stuff throughout this effects piece where you can get, you know, a finger woven through one of them like so. You can do that if you'd like, or you can just, you know, have, have it going right through there, but it'll tend to move and sync on you. So I tend to like to have a finger go through a little loop or something like that. It helps stabilize that effect part on the hand. And then for these flat hands, it's a little trickier, so you could still make it work. You just need to find some friction in there and that works out okay. So it's not too tricky to do. It works with all three hands. I like that. You're so rad. I love this head sculpt. This is exactly the Silver Surfer head sculpt that I wanted for a new Silver Surfer figure. Uh, for a comparison, we have our more first appearance looking Silver Surfer head sculpt from the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. And then for another head sculpt comparison, we have the Silver Surfer from Marvel Select right there. And these two kind of look a little bit more similar, but I really do like this face sculpt and head sculpt a lot. I like the black under his eyes. It's very comic accurate. He has that stoic look. He's supposed to be motionless, so I dig that. Nice silver paint throughout on this figure. I guess one little gripe I have is that his chin looks like he kind of, you know, like he fell off his surfboard and ate it. It gets just a little bit rough on the chin right there, but it's not really that bad. I still really like the head sculpt a lot. Looks great. And they used this darker gray plastic right here for the hinges. You can see that actually works out pretty well. It does blend in with the figure very nicely. You can see it right there. They actually did try painting the hinges though. So you see some paint there and on the back of the neck you can see some paint on it. But looking throughout, I mean, this is the Spidey 2099 body mold, the new Spidey 2099 figure anyway. And I think it works out great for the Silver Surfer. This is actually one of my favorite bucks. I really do like it a lot. Nice muscle definition. Get a little bit of this weird line going across right over there. It's like a tiny little package blemish, I guess. But it looks really good. I really dig it. Just a very nice, bright, vibrant paint. I like it a lot. Got the inside portions of these butterfly joints. So that's all covered inside right there. Yep. And very pleased with this silver paint. Now, I do like that the Toy Biz Legend had, you know, a bit of the blue going on, but I don't know, man. And I do like, I don't know, they both look really good, but I could see now how this blue paint coming right here is just a bit much. So if it wasn't as heavy handed, I guess I would probably like it more in retrospect. I am, you know, growing out of, you know, my love for Toy Biz Marvel Legends a little bit more and more as time goes on. Now again, I love this buck. It's my favorite new buck from Hasbro. Uh, so you get some really good head articulation over here. You can move his head up very far. That is awesome. He does have that shifting forward power driver thing. And you can make his head look all the way downward, you get side to side motion, and just a little bit of head pivoting. He does have the butterfly joints as we saw, shoulders move outward, they move down, rotate 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which is the weakest part of the figure, which is still not bad, it does move in more than 90 degrees, but yeah, for two joints right there, I wish it could move in more so. All six wrists swivel side to side and hinge up and down, we get a great ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swivel, hips move outward that far, and he does kick forward that much, and back just tiny bit, upper thigh cut, double joint and knees, boot rotation, or not boot rotation, but calf rotation, ankles move down, they do move up, and he does have the ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Silver Surfer figure, you can see that he's standing right at six and a half inches tall. And then for your Marvel Legends Silver Surfer comparison, we have the only other Marvel Legends Silver Surfer I have in my collection, the Series 5 Toy Biz Silver Surfer, and then we have our new Walgreens exclusive right here, and this is not the first Silver Surfer to come from Hasbro. Uh, Hasbro actually re-released this figure right over here in 2006. And then there's also the Silver Surfer from the Ronin Build-A-Figure Wave. And then there's also the Gladiator Silver Surfer from the World War Hulk comic storyline. So quite a bit of Silver Surfers out there. But yeah, these two I think are the best. And arguably that re-release version of this without the blue paint. And then here's our Marvel Legends Silver Surfer next to the Marvel Select Silver Surfer, which came out only a couple years ago, I think. Fairly recent. I do like the silver paint on this one more so than the Marvel Select. And they look so similar. But the thing is, is that this one actually has this deal where it kind of reflects 
flex light in a way where it really just makes the muscle definition stick out a little better. I don't know. Very subtle difference here between the two paint jobs on each of these, but uh, I'm just liking this one a little bit more. And you can see for this comparison, I had to brighten up my settings and you get a better idea of how bright and shiny this Silver Surfer is. But here he is next to the Walmart exclusive Thanos, one of his arch enemies. And I really like seeing these two side by side right here. I know it's not going to happen in the Avengers Infinity War movie, but now that Marvel has the rights to Silver Surfer, I mean, wouldn't it be great to just see a sneak peek of Silver Surfer in Infinity War? I know it's not going to happen. Just a lot of wishful thinking. Also, I'd like to see Nova show up, you know, and we have Adam Warlock, who I'd like to see. I also would love to see Captain Marvel in Infinity War, but I think we're more likely going to see Ant-Man and Wasp make a brief appearance if we're going to see anybody that we haven't seen yet. And then here's Silver Surfer next to some other Walgreens exclusive figures that we've gotten recently. We have Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, and the Human Torch, and I cannot wait for the thing to show up. Uh, and then here's a new Silver Surfer figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hmm, I may not know how to surf, but I sure do know how to skate. Come on, let's race. And here's the Legend Silver Surfer attached to the Marvel Select Silver Surfer base. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think, as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you haven't done those things already. Big thanks again to Claudia, Luis, Tanya, and Ivan. Thank you guys so much for making this happen. I really appreciate the love. You guys are incredible, and it was great meeting you over at the Mexico City Unboxing Con late last year. I hope to see you guys again in person. I really would love to go back to Mexico. It's going to happen. Anyway, uh, this figure, cool. I really like the figure a lot. It is an awesome piece, but I am bummed out that we don't have a good way to get this guy up in the air on his board in any kind of fashion like how we do here with the Marvel Select figure. So it does take points away from me. So I really like this figure a lot, but even so, I still give it a sud rating of... I love it! Which is actually my second highest sud rating, you know? So it just gets knocked down just like one little peg because, yeah, I need to have an accessory from a completely different toy line to really make this figure as fun as it possibly can be. And it is a lot of fun once you get a way to get that board up in the air. But anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at shardimusprime.net, as well as my legendary collector t-shirts, which are still available. And if you want to follow me on the social media, you can check me out on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. And right now on the Patreon account, there is a giveaway for the Marvel Legends uh, Avengers Infinity War Iron Man. So if you're a patron, be sure to check that out. I have a lot more Patreon giveaways coming very soon. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shard of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.